what is causing Ford to cut thousands of jobs in Europe, why VinFast's future is looking grim, and details on the former Toyota president's death. Good morning, I'm Kristen Strakalaitis. Welcome to First Shift. More on those stories in a moment, but first. The other day, I had the privilege to attend an event where Ford announced its plans to build a battery plant in Michigan, about 90 minutes away from Detroit. During its announcement, officials expressed their support for it and their excitement about the good it will do for the region. Marshall, Michigan is slated to be the home for Ford's new $3.5 billion battery plant, Blue Oval Battery Park. The automaker says the plant will use technology from partner CATL based in China. Part of the decision to build the plants in this location is because the new federal tax credits make the U.S. a more favorable option versus Canada and Mexico. Ford's CEO Jim Farley also says the selected location also stems from personal reasons as well. Michigan has always been a state where great jobs can really change the trajectory of a family for generations to come. That's been true for my own family ever since my grandfather first clocked in on the lines at Highland Park 100 years ago. And that's exactly what is going to happen in Marshall, Michigan going forward. We build generational opportunities in America by being built in America and for Americans. With the plant expected to create 2,500 new highly skilled manufacturing jobs, the mayor of Marshall expressed from an economic standpoint how he supports his new Ford neighbors and is excited about the future of the region. Really what it is, is I'm still the mayor of Marshall, right? And it's our people, our dynamics, and I'm just going to feed off of that. Um, our great community, as far as the, the technology, and, and I mentioned just before, just allowing our children and to the trade that will be used through this process, and the education and the specialized training um, to live, work, and play. And that's really what's important for me. Ford mentioned how the plants will have the capacity to build 35 gigawatt hours of lithium iron phosphate cells per year, which is enough to power about 400,000 electric vehicles. The automaker hopes this will help it increase production of EVs and make them cheaper to build. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer says she will have a hand in helping Ford meet its EV production goals. Landing this investment will continue bringing the supply chain of electric vehicle batteries home to Michigan. And it'll make sure that production lines aren't stalled by global shocks or shipping delays. We're gonna make electric vehicles top to bottom right here in the great state of Michigan. And I am grateful to Ford, an American icon for believing in Michigan. Having the support of people like Governor Whitmer and Mayor Schwartz will allow Ford to succeed in helping America's transition towards electrification. The new battery plant is scheduled to be completed in 2026. Toyota is mourning the loss of its former president, Shoichiro Toyota. The automaker says the 97-year-old died of heart failure earlier this week. Toyota was president of the automaker from 1981 to 1992 and was notable for its plunge into North American manufacturing and the rollout of the Lexus luxury brands. A public farewell ceremony is planned after funeral services for close family members. Turning to VinFast, the automaker could be up against some financial headwinds. This is due to billionaire and chairman of Vin Group, Pham Nhat Vong, saying he doesn't plan to personally invest in the EV maker anymore. According to a filing with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, VinFast lost $1.3 billion in 2021 and close to $1.5 billion in the nine months through September 30th. The filing also says the company will incur operating and net losses in the near term. But despite the EV maker's losses, it says it's still on track to start a trial production at its North Carolina facility by 2024. 
Ford plans to cut close to 4,000 jobs in Europe over the next three years. The automaker says this is because of rising costs and the need for a leaner structure as it pivots production to EVs. The targeted positions are product development and administration, mostly at Ford's Research Center in Southeast England. Ford says it intends to achieve the reductions through voluntary separation programs. Thanks for watching. Be sure to go to autonews.com for more news and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at first underscore shift. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.